again everybody we are back out second test ride of the day it's not even nine o'clock yet oh dear cramming these test rides in on a monday morning hammering the hell out of bikes not well not literally but cracking up the mileage as we say and we're on two we are what 11k 10k in at the moment so i've got about uh, another 5k to do on this one and top the hill and back again that will do for me that will add up my uh, five miles a little bit of a hill climb on a titan and we've done that already on the last run and only reason being this road works all down the main dual carriageway and i'm not risking it no i am going to uh, top the hill and back that will do me bit of round town job done good old pink punters they had a whacking good christmas party on friday night in there there's some really good stuff going on my ev charge point if you've been following what's going on down at the garden center last minute indication look it's all finished the ev charge point is in and someone is charging their car <laughs> We will have a look at that when we take the next bike out. I'll go down, we'll do a video from the uh, the garden centre and show you how they finished off the EV charge point finally. That is going to be fun. I can hear wind. Oh, not from that end either. It's, uh, I haven't put my neck scarf on properly because I've had helmet on and off, on and off and off. I've just sweeped a quick cup of hot coffee just to warm me up inside. No, probably a little bit of wind noise on the mic now yeah, but it is blowing an absolute gale how many storms are we going to have this year we've had storm whatever and this one and i am waiting for them to name it come on storm karen yeah because you know what karens are like that'll, that'll uh, upset all the uh, the woke lefties oh you can't say karen you're being derogatory for a female, yes. Well, you woke, you woke lefty people. <laughs> and uh, as I said, <laughs> we're watching. Uh, we have a little motor vloggers group on WhatsApp. Um, it's about thirty of us in there, and there's some really big names in there as well. But uh, a certain vlogger by the name of Alkamoto, yeah. Oh God, he is very, very clever. He's got some fantastic bike. Oh. I've just overtaken you, you're just like dawdling along. Um, Alkamoto is very good at what he does. Now, he was out on his big trail bike at the weekend, or the, just before the weekend, and going down a country lane, like you do. Nice steady speed, he's in position one, he's doing I think about 23 to 25 mile an hour, so he's well under the speed limit watching the corners like you do looking around the corners keeping nice and tight to the left and some lefty woke land rover driving chelsea tractor pulling doing the kids run decides to act down the lane and nearly add him off his bike now he's instagrammed it and facebooked it and it was like oh well you were in the wrong no you weren't actually the land rover was in the wrong and he's had loads of people commenting about uh, Oh, you should have been going slower down the lane. What? Walking speed? He was doing under the speed limit. The fact that the uh, the Range Rover driver... Oh, country lane. I own a country lane. I drive a Range Rover Land Rover. Yeah, typical four-wheel drive person. Unfortunately, I've got no time for them. And uh, decided to off him. Or oh, well, nearly tried to off him, but just down to the fact that he's a damn good driver. And... Uh, he didn't even take a mirror. I was like, no, you didn't take his mirror. And uh, he just carried on. He went, oh, what a head. Yeah. So, uh, good on you, Alex. Not, uh, not obviously biting to it, but as to the people that left him negative comments and went, oh, you can't ride, blah, 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 blah. oh, you were totally in the wrong. No, he wasn't, actually. Wake up, smell the coffee, you idiots. Um, and the ones that are normally going to do that sort of comment are going to be the, uh, as I say, the lefty woke buggers that uh, sit behind a keyboard, never ridden a bike in their life, or have got their license out of a cereal packet and ride a 125 or 
only take their posh BMW bike out on a hot summer's day so they don't get the thing dirty and wet. Oh, yeah, hence uh, when Peaky obviously turned up the Super Sausage, all the BMW owners all hang out there and they all looked at Peaky's bike and went, oh, look at that bike, it's absolutely disgusting. Oh, it's mingingly covered in mud. Yeah, because he rides it all the time. Not like you that goes to Super Sausage and back and just uh, only rides it on a dry day. And uh, obviously I do Super Sausage and back some weekends, but you're going to get those lefty people that have never ridden in their life and uh, are just going to sit behind a keyboard. Keyboard warriors. And I always say, any comment's a good comment, even if it's a down one. Someone says, I get it all the time, people go, oh, shouldn't have done it that way, should have done it this way. Well, thanks for your comment. But, uh, yeah, thanks for the thumbs down. I don't really bother, because any like, even a thumbs down, or any comment, still shows you're watching my channel. Thank you very much. You've just earned me more money. So that's how it goes. All right, back down and up the other side of the hill again we go. Same as we did last time. I will see you in a few. So we're back out, coming down the other side again, second run down, and we have, let's have a quick look down there, 16k, more than enough mileage on the bike, position 2 and 3, on the 125, I'm doing 45 mile an hour, everyone's wrapped up, <laughs> so it is face mask, yeah, it is freezing out here, what's happened to the nice weather? Yeah. It's freezing, absolutely freezing. And the shell garage is coming along well. That is reopening in January because they're coming up with a complete refurb. Only reason being, <coughs> lorry hit the roof. Yeah, and they're taking all the girders down. New girders going back up a little bit higher. We should have measured the height of a lorry before you put the damn roof on. That's what I say. Combined braking, in it comes, stops on a sixpence. Nice. That's a wicked little number plate. Oos, Jed. Wonder if he has the force backing him up. It was a good one for the uh, motor vloggers spotted at the weekend. Uh, KR15 REA, Chris Rear. So I wonder if he's driving over for Christmas on the back of his car. Uh, never know. And uh, someone spotted another one the other day. He said, uh, oh, he said, uh, do you own a Merc Rev? Because it was uh, X200 Rev. No, it weren't me, sorry. Mine. I've got some nice plates going on the bikes next year, and they've only cost me 500 quid for the pair. I've got to buy the last one yet, so I've got RB59 Rev. Yeah, hey, hey, RB's 9 Rev, that's going on the GTR. And on the Harley, I've been trying to find a personalised plate for the Harley. I was going to have RB, and obviously 64, which is what the bike is, and uh, Rev. And then someone said to me, no, 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 what you want to do is HD. 64 rev i'm like oh yeah harley davidson 64 obviously uh, the year i was born and rev at the bottom so uh, 250 quid nice i will have a little bit of that nice steady 30 mile an hour in fact 25 <laughs> right, back round town we go down to the garage, grab another cup of coffee, and then uh, I am stripping down the fuel tank on my uh, 1200 bobber that I have got in, because the fuel, the fuel pump's gone. So that is going to be fun. If you've seen the videos last week of all that uh, fuel that was absolutely minging and red, where he's left E10 in the tank for absolutely ages, for two years, and it's knacked the fuel pump. So I am going to be doing that. And get that all sorted we will get out again in about another couple of hours of a final test ride the weather's closing in it's about to chuck it down so luckily i've managed to uh, beat the rain it's picking up though it's getting very windy 
Oh, you can hear that wind noise. There we go. One of the... Uh... God blimey, look at that. All yellow. <laughs> You're not going to miss him on his bicycle, bless him. <laughs> Nothing like being uh, visual to people. Look, Harleys. Spotted those. Mm, very nice. There's some really nice houses and vehicles down this side. Central Bletchley, everyone's got money. Look, another little scooty there. Right, we're going to do it right here, up to the garage, past what used to be the old motorcycle store. This used to be the main uh, Suzuki dealer down here. Mission Motorcycles, it's... Uh, not anymore, it's now a bedding shop. What a waste of a motorcycle place. So, up to the garage we go. Pet groomers. It's all changed in Bletchley. It seems to all be charity shops and second-hand shops and food stores now that sell foreign cuisine. What has happened to Bletchley? It's turned into a right dump. Thank God I don't live down here. Uh, posh village me. Uh, get in. Right. Test ride is done. He wasn't paying attention, was he? Right, we're back at the garage. Test ride done on the Titan. And we are shed loads of K in at 21K. Look at that. Right. Waste clearance guys are in to do the bit round the back. I'm going to put the Titan away and we'll see you on the next one. Till then, be well, ride safe, and it's a big goodbye from me.